All right, greeting students. This is Professor Brown. Uh, I am making this instructional video and I'm going to put it in course resources um, to show those of you who are new to NetLab how to get into NetLab and set up uh, to do your assignments. So in the first week of my courses, I send out uh, via Canvas the URL and a username and password. So the URL could be something that looks like this, netlabve5.coastline.edu. You put that in your address bar. Uh, this is typically the NetLab that they set up for, for my classes, my Server Plus class, my Ethical Hacking, Pen Test Plus, CYSA Plus classes. It could change. It could be NetLab VE3. It could be NetLab VE6. Uh, we have several labs at Coastline, so please check the URL. All right. I also send you a username which is like 8318518 something. Um, it's like a long string of numbers. Uh, make sure that you put that in the username and then the password is always the same. It's gonna be, the initial password is always the same. It's gonna be ABC123 exclamation point. When you log in, you will be prompted to change that to a password of your choosing so please ensure that you remember that password or you cache it in your browser. So once you log in, all right, you're gonna see a screen and um, you can set a new lab reservation. When you click on that, you can schedule a lab for yourself. And then you'll see, uh, you'll only have one class. I have an instructional uh, instructor view but you're gonna have one class. Each username is gonna be specific to that class. So if you're taking me, say, for CYSA Plus and for Pentest Plus, heck, and even for Server Plus, you could have three separate usernames. I wish I could get the administrators to change that, but it's something you have to deal with so just keep track write it down or put it in a word pad or an excel spreadsheet as to what username is for what class so for this example i'm going to use let's see here i'm going to use uh, ethical hacking Okay, so Ethical Hacking has two separate modules in it. They have uh, Ethical Hacking and Security Plus, right? So you could be taking Security Plus with another instructor and only be using Security Plus. I use both um, in my uh, uh, shell or in my, uh, my course. So let's say we're working in um, uh, one of the first weeks see here modules let's say we're working in week one we have to do ethical hacking lab 11 so ethical hacking lab 11 network analysis okay that's going to bring you to the schedule page Okay, and what the schedule page does is it allows you to pick one of the four pods, all right, and you can see other students who may have that scheduled or may not. I'm going to pick pod two. I'm going to click as close to this red line as I possibly can because I want to take the lab now. Now, let's say I wanted to schedule the lab. Go back all the way through here. Sorry. Let's say I wanted to schedule the lab for a later time or even a later date. I can pick the date. Say I want to, say I want to look at it on Thursday instead of Tuesday. And I can pick what time I want to do it. See, somebody's already reserved it for 2 o'clock on Thursday. All right, for two hours. I could go ahead and click in here in pod 3 at say two o'clock and I can set it for a time of say 
they'll let you do up to two hours so I'm doing 1600 military time I would hit submit and it would pop up there I can also go back in there and cancel it as well all right so cancel all that let's say I want to do the lab like right now and this is how I end up doing a lot of my labs so uh, when I'm testing out or I'm doing recordings like these for my labs I'm going to pick a pod and I'm going to click as close to this red line as possible. Okay? And you see that by default it's going to only go to like up to the hour. All right, so it's only giving me 36 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and see 843. I click in here. So 1043. I'm going to try to say ah, 11 o'clock. Two hours and six minutes. All right? Hit that. Hit submit. And now my reservation is scheduled. I click OK. So from there, you can click into the lab, right? And you can enter it. Uh, if I log out and log back in, I can go back into the lab and schedule it. Um, I can go to the home button. This will be up here in my lab reservations when I come in. It'll tell me that it is time to enter the lab at that, at that point in time. All right, or I can set a new lab reservation for some time in the future. So then I just enter the lab, and wham, there I am. I'm ready to go forward and start in on this lab. All right, in some courses, it'll give you a topology. Some courses, like um, uh, my Server Plus class, the topology is in the lab manual. Under content, will be your lab manual. Again, I always refer to the uh, course uh, for uh, CST-158 because we developed all those labs in-house. These are labs that we've gotten from NDG, as you can tell. And from here, it pretty much tells you everything you need to know uh, from a standpoint of uh, usernames, passwords, IP addresses of the different virtual machines and then it will give you a step-by-step-by-step -step -step, um, process so you go into uh, click on the Kali graphic on the topology all right so go back to the topology uh, click on the Kali graphic that opens up the Kali box all right Click anywhere within the Kali console window, press enter to display the login prompt. Login as root with password, password tor. All right. You can also go back up here to the individual, individual devices. Root tor. All right. And so on and so on and so on. One thing I love about these labs is they are pretty step by step by step. Uh, that is by design. You, this is a learning environment. We're trying to teach you uh, what to do for these um, labs. Uh, later on in some classes, uh, especially the harder classes like CYSA Plus and Pentest Plus, uh, you'll be t uh, asked to go into one of these labs. You will not be given a lab manual, but you'll be given a series of tasks and you know you're gonna have to do it on your own so there are manual testing steps as well all right so throughout this it will have you go through and in some labs it will say hey take a screenshot here in others I, I think this is most of the time uh, for uh, the uh, Uh, for the ethical hacking and security plus if after you get done with each section right uh, or after you type in a command like take a screenshot of your TCP dump take uh, get your uh, TCP dump into a PCAP file right uh, you'll see when you should probably take a uh, a screenshot take that screenshot throw that into um, a word pad and then that's what you will upload to 
uh, canvas to be graded. Okay. Some of these labs do have questions in them that you'll have to answer, so make sure you read through the entire lab. All right. And with that, uh, also uh, look at the lab assignment within Canvas. It may give you some additional uh, steps to do as to what to screenshot or questions to answer. But that's neither here nor there. This uh, instructional video was to help you get into NetLab, navigate NetLab, set up a reservation, and do your work. So I'm going to leave it at that um, and wish you good luck in your classes. This is Professor Brown. We'll see you around next time.